What's going on guys, FlyDBZ here, and uh, welcome to episode 3 of PokeChill. Uh, we're gonna go into the Battle Villa now, and oh my god, something almost broke. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we're gonna go into the Battle Villa, but before I actually do that, this event, let me just say, is harder than the Entei one, that's for sure. <laughs> I was thinking of doing a video for the, uh, uh, like talking about the uh, difficulty of the legendary arena and yeah that's the team that i used for the legendary arena i did a video on that uh but yeah it's uh it's definitely a lot more difficult than the uh than the ente one just because like if you don't have a status condition on your uh um uh, on on uh, cobalion it, he's gonna be mitigating like 50 percent damage so he, like you're, it's going to be tough if you don't have, uh, like, burn, sleep, paralysis on him, poison, whatever. Like, he, like he, you're going to be doing very little damage. So, it's definitely better to, um, uh, to, like, put a status condition on him. And that's why I think Meowth Stick is, like, the best option that you can go with for, um, uh, for, like, the support for putting a status condition on him. Because Meowth Stick could heal himself. Uh, he could give you more speed, so it, it's good. And then his other attack, he uh, can confuse the target and stuff like that. So like, Mastic is a, definitely a great option for, uh, for like just in general. So yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm thinking of who to, for the support. Okay. So we have you. Hmm. Okay. You know what? We'll put Steelix in. Are, wait, are they a physical attacker? Like, a, like, is he a physical attacker in here? Uh, no. Okay, so yeah, all special attack. So Superior is gonna be fine in here. Uh, I think you know what? Yeah. Okay. So we'll put Sandstorm in here. Uh, just so we could power up Garchomp a little bit. Cause, like, we're gonna be we're gonna die. So <laughs> why not just go in with the uh, with a good team? And uh, just do as much as we can. So yeah. But anyways, this is episode three, and I actually really like doing this series because it's just like a, a breath of fresh air, like just chilling, Pokemon uh, doing the battle villa, and just talking about whatever in the game. So yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go with the Sandstorm right away, just so we can buff Garchomp if they do uh, any of the like AOE attacks. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go for an earthquake. Uh, we should be able to one shot them, maybe, maybe. Uh, no, close. Charger is almost done. Uh, but uh, we're gonna go for a defense on Ye on this guy. I don't know his name off by heart. <laughs> I I don't really use this guy it's even in the the main Pokemon game. Uh, but yeah, it's okay. But now we're doing quite a bit of damage. We're doing quite a bit of damage because they're weak to ground. So we're going to be fine here. And they're going off with a sync move. So it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We're going to go with the sync move. We're going to... Oh, oh god, okay. Uh, Superior is almost already done. We're going to go with a sync move just so we can mega evolve. Uh, but yeah. Uh, like, for the legendary arena though, like... It's fun. I, I've already beat it like maybe seven times now because I'm just farming up the uh, the items there because you can get level up manuals. You can get all the, the training items in one, in like basically one sitting. Uh, it's not a lot. Like for the three star level up manuals, you can get like uh, like six in one run if uh, if you beat it. So it, 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 it's not terrible. It's not terrible. And if you can beat the event in like a minute, uh, like uh, like at max like two minutes or so then you can easily like farm up a, a good amount of items honestly you really really can uh so that's what i've been doing because like if you get six three star level up manuals then uh and then you get like the the blends uh um and just all those stuff like it's gonna be great for farming up and that's what i do every time like when the NTA arena was here I was just farming up uh, stage 2. I wasn't able to beat stage 3 just because I wasn't really trying. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. Just going to stick on stage 2. Don't know why I did that, but it's uh, it's okay. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize we were getting the lucky scroll. Cool. Okay. 
Uh, but yeah, we... I'm happy, like, this Legendary Arena is like the best thing that happened to Pokemon Masters in a while. Because uh, we needed something like this to, uh, to, like, a little fresh taste for us. For us players that have been playing since uh, day one. Uh, I can't really prove that I'm a day one player just because I lost my my main account, my OG account. Like, uh, after I switched my phones and took like about a week break for Pokemon Master, because I was just playing way too much. So I got drained out, so I took a week break, upgraded my phone during that week, and then I lost my password to my, uh, to my Nintendo account to, uh, uh, to log in. So I was like, well shit. And then I heard red was coming out, so I was like, you know what? Okay, let me let me just wait till red comes out, so I could re-roll for him. So I got red, and then I just started making uh, progress from there. And then I have this account, <laughs> 170 days logged in since then. And this account was like literally right when red came out. So yeah, I guess it's been 117 days since red came out. Uh, but yeah, uh, the battle villa, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't, I don't really play the battle villa much as you guys can see, um, like, I don't know the best strategies to go in, like, I don't, I, I don't play the battle villa at all, uh, but, I don't know who to take in right now, I really don't, uh, I would take in, uh, Kingdra, but I don't have him gridded at all, so we're just not really gonna make any progress there, uh, I'm thinking, you know what, just to have fun, I'm thinking of going in with Guzma, yeah, you know what? Let's just go in with you, Zma. We're gonna have fun with you. Uh, do we have any, uh, physical attacking... Oh, yeah, Torchic, Torchic. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I don't really... Yeah, attack all. There we go. Because I don't want to, like, bring in, uh, like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I'm just saying whatever comes to mind. <coughs> But yeah, I honestly though like I've I've enjoyed playing this game. Uh, the 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 one person that really got me into playing Pokemon Masters, his name is uh, Zenrodo. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you guys know him. He is uh, he's basically from uh, the Dokkan Battle community. Uh, when he was talking about uh, like Pokemon Masters and stuff like that, I was like, oh man, okay, this game looks very good. I mean. I was seeing clips of uh, Pokemon Masters anyways, and I was like, you know what, let me let me play it anyways, let me try it out. And it just started from there. So I was in the beta, uh, and it came out like originally, I think, in Australia and Canada first. So I, since I'm in Canada, I was able to be in uh, the early access release and stuff like that. So I've just been playing that, and uh, like, oh, I, I didn't even realize Eevee was done. Jeez, okay, I need to pay attention better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was in the early beta and uh, that was a lot of fun and not a lot has changed uh, since day one that I could remember but uh, I know one thing's for sure, the rewards are uh, for the most part the same. That's the one thing they really need to fix in this game, the rewards, because like they're not that great. They're, they're really not that good at all. So like farming is just not really the most funnest thing because if like when you're farming and you're getting good items it's gonna motivate you to play more right not in this case uh i don't know like for us daily grinders we're motivated like <laughs> clearly because we're still playing hard every single day so like we we could tolerate it like i mean slowly my tolerance is <laughs> going away because like the like I, I after the super courses are done i don't I don't really play that much. I really don't. Like, besides me recording and uh, showing what I need to do, uh, like, besides that, like, yeah, I still play for like two hours a day or whatever. But like, I don't know. It, it, it's it, it's mentally draining because like you have to find motivation. You have to force yourself sometimes to to play because like when you need to get these items, it's like, oh my god. Okay, well, well let's do this for an hour and hopefully. Uh, we can uh, we can get enough items in this amount of time, uh, so that's why I've just been taking advantage of the type training events. So at least I can farm up all those uh, training items or those level up manuals. Because 
like the regular training event, like the drop rates suck in there, so most of the time you're only getting one three-star level up manual, so it's basically pointless. Um, and with the three and with the, the type training event, like you, you get a, a lot better chance of at least getting two, two three-star level up manuals. So it's a lot better. It's definitely a lot better. Uh, so that's why once the type training events are gone, I'm not gonna really grind for uh, for those. If anything, I'll just have it in autoplay, like, when I'm uh, grinding Dokkan battle, then I'll have Pokemon Masters in the background, and then once uh, uh, like the battle is done, I'm just gonna click battle again, and then autoplay does it on its own. <laughs> that, that's what I do. And that's actually what I do when I put, uh, when I eat breakfast. Uh, I'm eating breakfast, and then uh, I just have it in autoplay, so, yeah. Uh, and we have quite a bit of go. <laughs> And it ends on the 15th, and it's uh, the 8th today, so yeah, we got not that much time left, but hole 21, we're not going to make it there, but Charizard will be very good there. Also, if you have Delphox, just plug in that in. Uh, I don't have any more paid gems, because I'm waiting for the sales to come back, like, I don't spend on full prices, because it's like, especially on this game, it's like, it's not worth it, it's not worth it to spend uh, full price on this game, just because... You don't get anything guaranteed. You don't get anything guaranteed. So, like, what's the point? Uh, like, if it was Dokkan Battle, for example, I always compare this game to Dokkan Battle. I don't know why, but... Like, if it's, like, Dokkan Battle, for example, where every time you do a multi, you get a guaranteed SSR or, like, the highest rating. If you don't play it, it's the highest rating. Uh, so, you get a guaranteed of that every multi sub in. So, like, if, if Pokemon Masters can do something like that, too, in the future, then it's going to be a lot more worth it to buy gems in this game. But right now, like, what are you going to do with the paid gems? You'll only do uh, daily singles, and like, the luck is still terrible there. So what's the point? <laughs> That's why. I, like, for the one-year anniversary, I really hope Pokemon Masters decides to bring in a new system for the summoning, uh, because that would really like make the game better and more like it would it would make the players more happy because then it would be it would feel like they're actually being rewarded for like helping support the game because when you when you buy gems and stuff like that in the game you're basically supporting uh like uh, the devs and stuff like that so that they can make more stuff for the game uh like that's why and i don't mind spending on games like these because i know that a lot of these uh, developers put a lot of time into making the game even though sometimes it might not be very good but like if you uh if you support the game they're gonna give back to you most of the time uh, a lot of games do that anyways because they appreciate or us they appreciate their players so that's why but uh that's why i just really want to see something like better come to pokemon masters like uh like a guaranteed five star character per multi summon uh it doesn't have to be like an exclusive uh sync pair it's just a random five uh guaranteed five star and that would that would still be very good and i, and I really want something like that to happen um because it would like maybe like bring players back or something because a lot of players quit because they they saved up like uh twenty thousand uh gems and uh they didn't get a single five star so th they just got very frustrated so that's why they need to add in something better to pokemon masters for the summoning they need to add in a lot of stuff in this game to make the game better but i don't know that's just me thinking and being wishful about things <laughs> so yeah uh, but there we go, we just used our last, uh, team. And we're only on hole, what, 12? We're doing pretty bad. <laughs> oh, we're on hole 13, okay, cool. And this is only episode 3, so, like, I don't know. We're not, we're not doing terrible, but... I need to get better at this, that's for sure. And that's why I'm doing this series, because I want to get better, and I want to have motivation to actually do this. Because I'm not good at this, so having something to motivate me to come back to this daily is, uh, is helping big time. But, yeah. For those of you that do tune into these series and uh, do watch my videos, I just want to say thank you very much. Uh, even if you subscribe, I just want to say thank you. And to the new subscribers that actually have come, even though this is the end of the video and a lot of you guys probably aren't sticking around to the end here. But regardless, thank you very much for subscribing, tuning into my videos. Um, even if you don't like my content, I'm still going to be making videos regardless uh, of what people think of me because I love recording videos. I love playing Pokemon Masters. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video and I will see you guys on the next one.